Now, I know Nicole Sherwin has is, is been dying to have the opportunity to pay homage in her own way. Our eco diva is here um, with something very special. But before we do that, I can't help be drawn to this incredible little plaque you've got here. You had a connection to the great man. And I, I know, did. like all of us, you have been completely swept away this week. Completely swept away. And the connection I had, if I, you know, I think people that have been touched by Madiba personally, it's just so special. It really, really is. Um, we relaunched the Blue Train, so I did all the entertainment, organized all the entertainment around that, and it was very high security, and, you know, it, it, he seemed so untouchable, but after the show, he came back and he thanked every single one of my performers and wow. shook our hands, and he just, I think, he gave of himself, he gave his time, he gave his love, and he shared, and I think that is the biggest message for all of us, is to, is to be able to do that in life. Um, and yeah. he was completely human. He had that way of bringing us all back down completely. to earth. And we, are, mm, and we are feeling that this ah, week. And I think just... as much as he would have wanted the world to stand still and recognize his achievements, he would want life to go on and for 100%, us to make the most of that. 100%. Now, I, I love my scented candles. I have tons <laughs> of, of unused, um, you know, sort of unusable bits of candles. You've got a very interesting, very novel way of being able to recycle, rejuvenate. Um, take us through what we're going to be doing today. Well, we, we all like burn our candles and then there's a bit left and we don't know what to do with them. So keep them, keep them all <laughs> because you're going to melt them down again. And it's so simple. It's, it's literally recycling. So you're going to get all your bits of old candles that haven't been use and you're going to put them into a double boiler okay and you're going to put them on a nice low heat and just boil it until it becomes complete liquid okay that's what you're going to do and i see our glass is still hot here which is, is why our hot. wax is is remaining it's very liquid hot form. yeah then in order to scent it you can choose i've uh -huh. chosen um a lot of the candles i found were already vanilla scented so i mm. wanted to you know use aromatherapy oils that go with that so I've, I've chosen bergamot which is a lovely uplifting scent mm, we can and use it goes that so week, beautifully yeah. with vanilla um, and as you can see it's coming up oh, you can cool. see the drops in here you're going to put about 10 to 15 drops depending on how aromatic you want to do and you're literally going to stir it and after a while it will set like wax does but i wanted to chat about some other oils that you could do if you want to get rid of mosquitoes or michis you would put in some citronella oil. It's funny you say that. I think I got chowed by about 3,000 mosquitoes <laughs> last night. I actually scratched myself raw. That is brilliant. So you can mm. make your own like anti-bug candles as well, which you can burn outside when you're brying, which is fantastic. If you're wanting a soothing, relaxing, you know, smell a and senses, scent. we've got yeah. some lovely lavender oil. Oh, very nice. Um, for a more of a sensual, uh, romantic, it gets you in the romance mood is jasmine, which is lovely. It's a beautiful it's, smell. It's as coming well out now add. in season as well, exactly. which is fantastic. And yeah. then there's grapefruit, which is very uplifting and makes you feel happy, and it's just a fresh, a fresh smell for your house. So that's a great thing to do. And then putting it all together, either you want a chopstick, okay. <laughs> or if you want to put some toothpicks together. I, I, I had this little cupcake set. Um, I was about to say, this is going story. very cutesy. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, we started out making it's scented hard candles, now for it's all It's very hearts cute. for Medeba, <laughs> oh, that's that what I found. Sweet. And it's recycled, so that's what's so much fun. Just a piece of string, or if you can break open um, a candle that has wick in it, you dip the string into the wax first, because it, it just burns a lot easier. And then you want to tie this around okay. the top. And the reason you want to do this is because it's easy for the wick to not be placed correctly, and then sure. you won't be able to burn your candle. So this is just a little area. Oh, clever. And mm. then you put it down there. And when you have it in the right position, I don't know if you can all see there this go. over there. When you have it in the right position, you can stick it down with a bit of sticky tape or okay, whatever you Okay, so that you, you can just to. peel off the bottom of it. That's right. Yeah, we'll and you literally will anchor. pour your liquid. All right. Show me you've got so the yeah, right angle there. This. Into here. And then I, stay, I see it stays in liquid form for quite a while. So it's not an yes. unforgiving process. You don't no. have to kind of do this all unsafely in seconds. Correct. But it's 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 hot. So be careful when if you're making it with the kids, just be careful because it is obviously very hot. Um, this is an old ramekin, and uh, <laughs> I, was say, I started my, making a candle in here. Th this just to show sort of thing you. got me into trouble a lot as a child, but I Did would it? recycle things like ramekins for my own little crafts projects. You know? uh, I'm sure your mum's not too happy <laughs> exactly, with you. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is a finished product. So the candles in here, the, the, you can see the wick. You can just I cut off the knot, off. and, and you're ready to burn. A, a smell have, there, have a sniff. 
Oh, that's, that's nice. lovely. Thanks. Well, if you're looking for a very novel way of recycling, yes, and also just being able to calm yourself and do something that you've had a hand in, you can create this yourself. Um, let's take a little look at how we got to this end result. Um, and you can take this down in the meantime. If you want to SMS the keyword oils to 33728, we will send this little breakdown directly to your phone. But let's take a, a quick recap. Pour all the old candles and wax into a double boiler. Melt until a smooth liquid. Add in the essential oil. Tie a string to a toothpick and balance over the top of the container so the candle wick is hanging from the toothpick to the bottom of the container. Pour the liquid into the jar and allow to cool and set for at least 24 hours. And there you will have your own homemade scented candles. Um, just a quick thing, yeah, removing wax or any wax drippings or anything like that, um, that is a danger. Indeed. Well, you can see it's starting to uh, get hardened. stuck onto mm. the, the bowl. So just put it in the double boiler again and melt it. And while it's melted and all liquid, wipe it off and then get your, your detergent or some freshly squeezed lemon to get rid of it and it'll wipe off quite easily and you'll be able to use your bowls. Oh, fantastic. Well, that key word again is oils to double three seven two eight, and we will have you on your way creating your own beautiful scented candles. Where can we pick up the conversation? Um, you can find all my recipes at on my website, ecodiva.coza. Pick up the conversation on my Twitter, at ecodivanicole, and my Facebook, at ecodivanicole.